Uh, we are here at the Port of Tampa, and you can see the stage behind me is starting to come down. They had big speakers and monitors out where uh, there was, a, of course, a, a private little gathering here with all the players, the coaches, some family. Uh, the music was blaring, and various players got on the mic to, uh, to sing and to have fun, and, and that's where this kind of party here culminated at the part of Tampa. But, uh, and you can see the, the chopper shots from high above. That crowd was packed with players that had just wrapped up uh, several hours out on the water, and boy, they, they came here to celebrate as well. Uh, you know, Tom Brady was kind of whisked away early on in this one. I never actually saw him up on the stage, but I did watch him leave. Uh, once we arrived and our boat docked, uh, he parted ways, but uh, GM Jason Light was up there. Bruce Arians was up there. Players took turns on the mics. Uh, just talking about what this season meant to them, what this celebration meant to them, and for a guy like Levante David that has been uh, a member of the Buccaneers, for a long time now, to be able to experience a Super Bowl celebration, much less one on the water as memorable as this one, uh, was certainly one that uh, they will never forget. There's Jason Pierre Paul, shirt off, dancing, having a good time with the drum line. And that was kind of the scene here. Of course, it's a lot more quiet at this point in time as players started to board those charter buses and head back. Uh, but uh, this was a the capstone of what was many players. Cameron Bright told me this was the greatest day of his life. So uh, really the, the ability to celebrate. It's one thing to go out and put the hard work out on the field and today on the water in the boats and right here on shore at the Port of Tampa this is where it all kind of came together and they were able to let loose, let their hair down a little bit so to speak and uh, and have a good time and we saw that. Coming up in sports we have more from Jason Light. I was able to catch up with him, uh, get his thoughts on what this process has been like, what this season has been like and then the ability to finally relax. This weekend is his birthday so this on top of a Super Bowl victory uh, will be quite the birthday for Mr. Jason Light. We'll have that coming your way in sports. Hey, Scott, I foresee a new competition perhaps in Title Town. We'll have to see next year who throws a bigger celebration party, <laughs> the Lightning or the Bucks. I tell you what, <laughs> if, they can, if they ever go back to normal parades, I think there will be some disappointment. Right? I love the boat parades. It's uniquely Tampa. And the way that it has, you know, the Lightning one and now this one, we're starting to kind of get the perfect get recipe our groove, down. Right. And, uh, boy, it, we, we, can get, we can get used to this around here, right? Sure.